Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel Aruno Dayams Biology. Today we are going to learn about a nutrition topic from a life processes chapter. Nutrition. Energy is needed to maintain a state of order in our body even though when we are in rest. When we walk, when we ride a bicycle, when we talk, even when we are listening, we need energy. Even though when we are in rest, even though when we do not do any work apparently, we need energy. Why? Well, because some maintaining jobs or some life process will carry out in our body. For those maintaining jobs, we need energy continuously. We also need some raw materials to grow, develop, synthesize proteins. So we also need some raw materials from outside to grow in size, to develop our body, to synthesize proteins and other substances. Okay. So we need a raw materials from outside. So for getting energy, and for getting raw materials, we need a food. The energy, the source of energy and the source of raw materials is nothing but uh, the food we eat. The food which we are eating uh, will help us to get energy and also to get uh, raw materials. Okay. So intake of nutrients into the body is called as a nutrition. Taking all the nutrients, required nutrients into the body is called as a nutrition. In other words, so taking food materials into body is called as nutrition. How do living things get their food? How do living things get their food? Requirement for energy is common in all the living organisms on this earth. That means every living organism on this earth needs energy for food material. That means they will take food materials for getting energy. Okay, but the fulfilling ways are different here. Different organisms choose different methods to obtain nutrition. So there are two types of nutrition we have. One is autotrophic nutrition. Second one is heterotrophic nutrition. Already we learned that nutrition means the intake of nutrients into the body. So first one is autotrophic nutrition. Auto means self. So here the organisms will prepare their own food materials. They will self prepare their own food materials. So in autotrophic nutrition, organisms obtain simple inorganic substances from the environment and convert them into food materials in their body. Okay, they will take a simple inorganic substances like carbon dioxide and water from environment and convert them into food material inside their body. That type of nutrition is called as autotrophic nutrition and those organisms are called as autotrophs. Okay, examples are green color plants and photosynthetic bacteria. So green color plants and photosynthetic bacteria will obtain simple inorganic substances like carbon dioxide and water from environment and convert them into food material in their body. Second type of nutrition is heterotrophic nutrition. Hetero means others. So these organisms depends on others for food material. They cannot prepare their own food materials. They will depend on others for food material. Okay. So in heterotrophic nutrition, the organisms take a complex substances from outside complex substances from outside that means food material from outside and convert them into simple ones takes carbon dioxide like carbohydrates proteins fats so they'll take complex substances from outside in the form of food materials and convert them or break down them into simple substances inside their body by using some biocatalysts called as enzymes so after converting those complex substances into simple substances they will uh, utilize them for uh, energy so that type of organisms are called as heterotrophs and the type of nutrition is called as heterotrophic nutrition examples are animals and fungi all the animals on this earth including humans uh, and fungi are heterotrophs so they cannot prepare their uh, own food materials so these are the two types of nutrition uh, in our earth so in heterotrophic nutrition organisms either directly or indirectly depends on autotrophs for food material for example carnivores and herbivores herbivores directly depends on green plants for food material and carnivorous animals eat herbivores that means they are depending indirectly on autotrophs for food let us learn about autotrophic nutrition so some organisms will fulfill their energy requirements by a process called as photosynthesis photosynthesis photo means light synthesis means preparation so these organisms uses sunlight for the preparation of food materials 
so let us learn the definition of photosynthesis it is a process by which autotrophs take in substances from outside and convert them into stored forms of energy so in this process autotrophs means green color plants and photosynthetic bacteria take some substances from outside that means a simple inorganic substances like carbon dioxide and water from outside and convert them into stored forms so they use carbon dioxide and water from outside and convert them into food materials like glucose and starch for getting energy so this process is called as a photosynthesis let us have a look on a balanced equation of photosynthesis 6CO2 plus 12H2O in the presence of chlorophyll and sunlight gives rise to C6H12O6 that means glucose plus 6CO2 plus 6H2O. This is the balanced equation of photosynthesis. Here the raw materials are carbon dioxide, water and sunlight. Carbon dioxide, water, sunlight are obtained from outside. That means these three are external factors for photosynthesis. While this chlorophyll is internal factor. Why? Because it is already present in the plant body. So these four are the raw materials for photosynthesis. These four combine together to form some end products called glucose. C6H12O6 glucose. So plants produces glucose. Along with glucose, they produce byproducts like oxygen and water. Okay, this is what takes place in plants during photosynthesis. So the glucose which is produced in plants is readily used by them. So glucose is readily used by them for getting energy. If some amount of glucose is not utilized immediately, then it is stored in the form of a complex form called as starch. So plants if energy is not utilized immediately then they will store that energy extra energy in the form of a complex substance called as a starch which serves as internal energy internal energy reserve just like our atm card isn't it we use atm card just like that starch is also like an atm card that means internal energy source which is readily used for getting energy in times of need Okay, same process takes place in case of animals also, that, that means in case of human beings also. We also use energy from the food material which we eat. Extra amount of energy which is produced in our body is stored in the form of glycogen. That means it's stored in the form of fat, isn't it? So we will use fat whenever we, in times of need. That means during starvation, isn't it? So just like that in case of plants also, plants readily use the glucose which is produced for getting energy extra amount of glucose which is not used immediately will be stored in the form of a complex substance called as a starch which serves as an internal energy reserve so that is about autotrophic nutrition in case of plants let us learn how autotrophic nutrition takes place in plants let us see what actually happens during photosynthesis so these are the three events which takes place during photosynthesis let us have a look on it first three steps takes place in photosynthesis first step is absorption of light energy by chlorophyll already we learned that chlorophyll is present in plant body that means green color pigment is present in the plants that means in the leaves so these green color pigments that means chlorophyll molecules absorb light energy from sun they absorb light energy from sun so after absorbing light energy these chlorophyll molecules becomes activated Second step is a conversion of light energy to chemical energy and splitting of water into hydrogen and oxygen. So in the second step, light energy is converted into chemical energy. The sunlight energy which is absorbed by the chlorophyll molecule will convert into chemical energy and the water which is taken from the roots of the plant will split into hydrogen and oxygen molecules. So plants takes a water from roots isn't it it is also one of the main important raw material so this water molecule will split that means break down into hydrogen and oxygen molecule so these are two steps takes place in a second event 
in the third event reduction of carbon dioxide to carbohydrates takes place so carbon dioxide co2 it has carbon and oxygen molecules isn't it so here reduction takes place that means addition of hydrogen molecule takes place here so the hydrogen molecule comes from the hydrogen which is obtained from the splitting of water water molecule so hydrogen will get attached to the carbon dioxide that means a reduction of carbon dioxide takes place to produce carbohydrates that means a C6H12O6 that means a glucose molecule is produced so these three events takes place during a photosynthesis but we have to remember one thing that these three events does need not takes place one the other immediately okay in case of desert plants for example in case of desert plants sunlight is available during daytime but but the leaves will close their stomata during daytime in order to avoid a water loss during night time these stomata open and take carbon dioxide from atmosphere so in case of desert plants these three events will not take place immediately one after the other so carbon dioxide is taking into the plant during night time and already chlorophyll molecule absorbed light energy during daytime so by using this light energy the chlorophyll molecule will convert the carbon dioxide into food material okay this is what happens in case of desert plants so three events takes place during photosynthesis but these three events are need not to take place one after the other immediately that is about a photosynthesis if you want a detailed explanation of photosynthesis already videos are available in my channel i will give you links in comment section also if you are interested then uh, once have you uh, look on them please do watch them okay so that is about autotrophic nutrition in case of plants so today in this video we have learned uh, what is nutrition and what are the types of nutrition and we have learned a uh, definition of photosynthesis balanced equation of photosynthesis and three events taking place in uh, photosynthesis that's all for today from our next video we are going to learn how the components of photosynthesis are necessary how carbon dioxide how chlorophyll is essential for photosynthesis we are going to learn in our next videos okay hope you understand this uh, topic if you have any doubts please ask me in comment section i will clarify you thank you so much for watching jai hind